In our previous video, we started looking at algebra, where we looked at variable, which is a symbol used to represent various numbers. And we also looked at the, the differences between the expression, the equation, and the identity. All right, so let's continue looking at algebra. What I want to look at is translation between the algebraic symbols and worded expressions. Now, you have certain words that are used to describe certain algebraic um, symbols. Some comes from addition. When you say you want the sum of two numbers, it means you're going to add them. The difference of two numbers, like when they say the difference of two squares, not the difference between the you know, difference of two numbers, you subtract them. All right? And the product of two numbers, it means you're going to multiply those two numbers, and what you get is a product. And also that if you divide two numbers, what you get is the dividend. You that, that one is not really that popular, but I'll just include it, the dividend. So, the dividend comes from division, alright? Dividend comes from division. Now, let us look at a few... Um, translations we're going to look at the English the plain old English translation and then I mean the plain old English expression then you you translate it into algebraic expressions all right suppose I say let me type it instead of trying to write it Suppose I say, I want the sum of x and y. The sum of x and y. That shouldn't be too difficult. In this case, it is x plus y. That's the sum of x and y. Right? Another one shouldn't be too difficult. If I say I want the product of x and y. The product of x and y, as you would have seen from up here, is x multiplied by y. But then when you're multiplying two numbers, um, two letters, you usually don't bother to put the multiplication sign. So you could also put x, y. You don't usually put y, x because you want to go from going alphabetical order from left to right. So you put x before y since x comes first in the English alphabet and then y after. All right. So in that case, it is x multiplied by y is the same as x, y. So what we have, the product of x and y is x, y. Now, let's look at another one. What I want is the sum of 5 and the product of x and y. I want the sum of 5 and the product of x and y. How do I deal with that? It's 5. We're looking at 5 here. Two things. 5 and the product of x and y. Now, what is the product of x and y? We saw before that it is x, y. And then here we have 5. Now, we want the sum of. The sum of these two things. That means we're going to add so in this case, what we have is 5 plus xy. 
5 plus x multiplied by y. So we have the sum, in this case, the sum is a plus of two things, of y, of 5 and of the product of x and y. Alright? So you see that. Let's look at another one. I have this expression that says what is 3 larger than the product of x and y. 3 larger than the product of x and y. I want you to pause the video and write that one down. Translate it into algebraic expressions and then come back. So go, go ahead. Alright. So you did it. First of all, let's see what this would amount to. 3 larger than the product of x and y. Suppose I do this. That would be wrong. What this is saying is 3 is larger than the product of x and y. Alright? This is the is greater than sign. Is larger than. That's not what I asked for. I asked for 3 larger than the product of x and y. No, it's like a, I say, what is 3 larger than 20? What is 3 larger than 20? It means you had 20 and you go 3 more, 3 larger than. So it would be 20 plus 3. Now, let's look at what we have up here, what this is asking for. Alright? 3 larger than the product of x and y. Let's erase these and go ahead with this. The product of x and y is x, y. 3 larger than that would mean you have x, y and you have 3 more because 3 larger is saying 3 more. So it's 3 plus x, y. You could also have it as x, y plus 3. Alright? So that's what you have there. 3 larger than the product of x and y. Alright, so we're going to look at a few more in another video as we continue looking at translating algebraic, um, algebraic symbols and worded expressions.